I don't search for new music for the sake of new music because I'm not, you know, I'm not looking for commissioning works just for the sake of being a pioneer and and uh, have uh, works written for me. But I look for composers who, who I think that I can express uh, their music well and uh, that uh, their aesthetics are challenging to um, what I feel I can project as a musician and try to work with them. Violin practically goes, or the instrument goes, wherever the musician goes. And uh, it's, uh, it was a fantastic, uh, uh, beautiful detail that uh, Eugène Isaïe was one of the most, uh, one of the greatest legends after Paganini. And um, when once he had his violin open to be repaired, he wrote on the back, which one can still see today, um, that the violin might most faithful companion. And I think that really tells it all. The only thing that is more direct that I can imagine is the actual voice, which that means that the instrument is inside the body. But um, in our case with the violin is practically under the chin, so it's so directly uh, uh, next to where the human voice is produced and, uh, and, uh, the, uh, and right under the head. So that means it's, it's really, um, yeah, it's like a prolongation of, of the body. And that's in the end what it becomes after many years of playing and after discovering possibilities of expression through the instrument, it becomes, it becomes practically a part of oneself. The form of a violin, the form of a cello, the form of a viola has not been changed, has not had the need to be changed. So these are, these are fantastic uh, signs of, and proofs of, uh, of a unbelievable human achievement. Artistic relations are like, you know, it's like in a human relation, in the sense that you really choose. I mean, you get to meet somebody you didn't know before, and you choose whether you want to see him or her again or not. And it's exactly the same thing in the art. So that means that you, one might play with somebody that one wants to play very much with, and, uh, and uh, the opposite. What is funny is that it works exactly the same way like in the human relations, that it's not possible that one will want to play again and the other side will not want. That means there is a chemistry that comes. There is a very human and a very artistic uh, edge to this festival that are very special and very strong. The moment one arrives, climbs up here, one feels music everywhere. You know, it's not a big city, it's not a, it's not a center, let's say, um, metropolitan center or whatever. It's just a little village, it's practically a ski resort for the winter. But in the summer, whoever is here in Verbier, or let's say 98%, I imagine, is here for the music. This is an amazing thing that we are finally able to bring the arts to so many people. I have enrolled on Medici, so I can also watch the concerts that they have, whether it's live or it is in the archives. And I find this fascinating because I cannot see why in 10 or 15 years we're not, be, we're not going to be talking to huge audiences. I just cannot see that because the arts are something that touch everyone.
there is no not one human being that would not be touched by the arts.